Hi everyone, my name is Alex from Workshop 12. Today we're going to do a full walkthrough of the Brainiac app. We'll discuss things such as how to, how to use your two finger gestures to control the volume and skip songs, how to use global volume control and what is global volume control, and all the other cool features that Brainiac has to offer. All right guys, welcome to Brainiac soft, software walkthrough. Um, if you guys have not yet seen the initial Brainiac setup, I highly recommend you to see the previous video uh, where we actually walk you through uh, properly setting up the Brainiac app. So diving into the software walkthrough, you'll notice that you have your logo here, which you'll be able to change to your car logo, as well as um, apps around the logo, which you can change uh, to whichever apps you most frequently use. Then you have your track information uh, to get unknown track removed. There's only particular some particular apps that actually share track information with third party apps such as Brainiac. Um, Spotify and Pandora are the two apps that I personally know that will actually share track information. Um, I know for Spotify, you actually have to go into the settings uh, in Spotify music app and uh, turn on device broadcast status. That's going to actually now uh, remove unknown track and we'll show you the track that you're playing. You have your media buttons here where you'll be able to uh, skip or forward or pause or play. And then as well as for those that have climate control or the climate display, you'll be able to see uh, your climate settings here. Um, if you swipe, you'll be able to see all the apps that you have installed in your tablet. And then if you press and hold, you'll be able to either uninstall the app or you can hide it from Brainiac. If we press the three dots on the top right, you're going to access the main settings of Brainiac. The first one is color selection. You'll be able to change the color uh, to whatever would match your interior best. And then general settings, you got tablet smart media playback. What is tablet smart media playback? This is a really cool feature. Basically, it uses the, the charge port on your tablet. Uh, to detect when your vehicle is turned off and on by either um, having your tablet charging or not charging. And it will basically pause all media that is currently playing when you when you turn off your car and the tablet start, stops to charge. Um, it will automatically pause the music. And when you get back in your car and turn it on, it will automatically start resuming the music because it detects that the tab tablet is uh, has started to charge again. Tablet Smart Power is amazing to save some battery life. Um, it will turn off antennas such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, to conserve battery after a period of time that Brainiac is uh, not being used. And then when you turn your car back on, it detects the charge, it will now turn those uh, antennas back on. Show hidden apps. This is uh, basically gonna show apps that you hid from Brainiac. So for example, show hidden apps, I just turned it on. If we go back to the home button, you'll see that this one here is grayed out. That's because I previously just hit it. And uh, to make it show again, you can just turn it on there. Clock format, we got AM or military time. Climate control units, we got Fahrenheit or Celsius. Headphone amp keep alive, we'll talk about that um, in the next setting uh, under amplifier settings. And then, uh, anytime you want to go back, you can just press the three little dots to take you back. Your quick launch settings, this is where you'll be able to change uh, your local settings to whatever um, it is that you uh, drive. And for example, uh, for me, I'll just leave it at Brainiac there. And then you can actually change all the apps around the logo. And this is where you're going to be able to do it. Then you'll have uh, your gesture settings. Um, I personally like to turn on global volume button right. If you, for whatever reason, wanted to dis disable global volume, then you'll be able to disable it. Um, but this is only going to disable it from actual, um, like any other apps outside of Brainiac. And then I personally like to turn on global volume button right. I'll explain to you why um, once we get out of Brainiac here. Swap side gestures. I like to also turn this on because if I leave it off, and I tap on the side, it actually opens up um, any um, applications that are currently opened. But if I actually turn on side uh, swap side gestures, it now gonna go back, which I personally 
enjoy, especially because it's a little closer to the driver uh, on left-hand drive vehicles. And then swap media gestures. It's basically just going to swap the media gestures. It will actually start playing the previous song. So I actually like leaving that turned off. Large side gestures is going to be um, easier to press the, the side gestures whenever you have the faceplate on. As you can see how uh, uh, thick that, um, that blue bar is. Uh, but if I go back to the settings there and I turn off large side gestures, you can now see that the bar is now a little bit um, uh, smaller. And then we have uh, as well as the large home gesture, same thing as the sides, but it's for the home. And then if we go to the three dots again, we got brightness settings. Brightness settings is awesome. I highly recommend to turn it on. And the main reason for that is because when you do turn on brightness settings, it will now tell Brainiac to not dim the screen anytime that your tablet is charging. And then when your tablet is no longer detected uh, that it's charging, it will actually start going into standby mode based on the standby time that you've set. Uh, we recommend to set it for 15 seconds as that's the fastest um, amount of, of time that your tablet will go into sleep. And then as well as um, adjusting the brightness based on time of day. The sun rises at 7.30, for example, uh, you can set it to be full brightness. And if the sun sets at, let's say, 6.30 um, in the afternoon or in the evening, you'll be able to actually now um, dim it or make it to whatever brightness you prefer. Amplifier settings, um, the Genesis Infinity volume, that is uh, to control the Infinity OEM amplifier that is uh, that comes equipped with the premium um, Genesis sound system. And um, you'll be able to do that, but you'll just have to make sure that you have your climate display connected um, because it does change it through CAN bus. And then you got your headphone amp keep alive. Now for those um, users that experience some sort of um, distortion or static whenever the music is paused and your, and your um, volume is turned up and you hear some type of static, all you gotta do is click that button and it will completely remove all that. When you turn on headphone amp keep alive, it will keep your auxiliary amplifier turned on by playing silent music and therefore it will basically trick the tablet and to think that it's always playing music um, so that is a very neat feature uh, to get nice clean audio now i want to show you guys what is global volume control and how you can actually control the volume whenever you're not on brainiac as you can see if i grab my two fingers and i go up or down or side to side it's not gonna um, appear the volume gestures so what you have to do is actually press on the bottom right corner of the screen and you're going to see this little um, bubble appear which at that time you can instantly lower or raise the volume or change songs by simply doing that for those that prefer to have that gesture uh, to activate global volume um, on the top of the screen instead of at the bottom you can set up your Brainiac app, uh, go to the settings, gesture settings, and actually turn off global volume button right. And then now it's going to make it uh, where you have to tap on the top here uh, to make it nice and easy. If you guys have any questions or you guys need any assistance, always reach out to us. Our team is more than happy to help you. We even offer complimentary one-on-one -on -one video calls where we can actually guide you with installation, troubleshooting, or even software walkthroughs. And there you guys have it. Thank you guys.